We were a group of aspiring filmmakers who wanted to make a documentary about a haunted asylum. We had heard rumors of strange noises, voices, and apparitions in the abandoned building. We thought it would be a great opportunity to capture some paranormal activity on camera. We borrowed some equipment from our school and drove to the location. It was a cold and rainy night, perfect for setting the mood. We parked our car outside the gate and climbed over the fence. We walked towards the entrance, shining our flashlights on the crumbling walls and broken windows. We entered the asylum and set up our cameras and microphones. We split into two teams, one to explore the ground floor and one to go upstairs. I was in the latter group, along with my best friend, Jake, and our classmate, Lisa. We decided to check out the patient rooms, the operating theater, and the morgue. We walked along the dark and dusty corridors feeling a chill in the air. We heard creaking noises and dripping water, but nothing else. We tried to communicate with any spirits that might be present, but we got no response. We reached the end of the hall and found a door marked morgue. Jake opened it and we stepped inside. It was a large room with metal tables, cabinets, and drawers. There was a foul smell of decay and rot. We looked around and saw dozens of body bags piled up on the floor. Some of them were torn open, revealing decomposed corpses. We felt sick and disgusted. Whoa, this is messed up, Jake said. Maybe we should get out of here, Lisa suggested. No way. This is gold, I said. Think of how creepy this will look on film. I took out my camera and started recording. I zoomed in on the body bags and the corpses. I moved closer to get a better shot. Suddenly, one of the body bags moved. I gasped and jumped back. What was that? Jake asked. I don't know. I think it was alive, I said. Are you kidding me? Lisa said. We heard a groan from inside the bag. Then another one. The body bag started to twitch and writhe. The corpses started to crawl out of them. They were pale, bloated, and covered in maggots. They had blank eyes and rotten teeth. They looked at us and moaned. They were zombies. We screamed and ran for the door, but it was too late. The zombies blocked our way. They grabbed us and bit us. We felt their teeth sink into our flesh. We felt their blood mix with ours. We dropped our cameras and microphones. They fell to the floor and kept recording. We became one of them. I was bored and lonely one night, so I decided to browse the internet for some entertainment. I stumbled upon a website that claimed to have the most terrifying and freaky video clips ever. I was curious and clicked on it. The website looked sketchy and amateurish, but it had a lot of videos to choose from. They had titles like The Face in the Window, The Screaming Doll, and The Demon in the Basement. I decided to watch one called The Eye in the Wall. The video started with a shaky camera footage of a dark and dirty room. There was a hole in the wall, and a voice behind the camera said, Look at this, guys. I found something weird in this abandoned house. There's an eye in the wall. Watch this. The camera zoomed in on the hole and I saw a human eye staring back at me. It was bloodshot and twitching. It looked terrified and in pain. The voice said, 
Hey, are you alive? Can you hear me? The eye blinked and moved around, as if trying to see who was talking. The voice said, What are you doing here? How did you get stuck in the wall? The eye widened and started to cry. It looked like it was begging for help. The voice said, Don't worry, I'll get you out of there. Just hold on. The camera moved away from the hole, and I heard the sound of a hammer hitting the wall. The voice said, I'm going to break the wall and free you. Don't be scared. I heard the wall cracking and crumbling, and then a loud scream. The camera turned back to the hole, and I saw a horrific sight. There was no eye in the wall. There was a mouth. A huge, gaping mouth, full of sharp teeth. It was chewing on something. Something that looked like an eye. The mouth said, Thank you for the snack. Then it lunged at the camera. The video ended. I was always fascinated by scary video clips. I loved watching them online, especially the ones that claimed to be real. I enjoyed the thrill of being scared and the challenge of finding out if they were fake or not. One day, I came across a website that had a collection of the scariest video clips ever. It had a warning that said, enter at your own risk. These videos are not for the faint of heart. Some of them may be cursed or haunted. Watch them only if you dare. I was intrigued. They sounded terrifying, such as the girl in the mirror, the haunted elevator, and the faceless man. I decided to watch the first one, the girl in the mirror. It was a short clip, only a few seconds long. It showed a young woman brushing her hair in front of a mirror. She looked normal until she turned her head and smiled at the camera. Her smile was twisted and evil and her eyes were black and hollow. I felt a chill run down my spine. I closed the video and looked at the other titles. They all seemed equally creepy, but I couldn't resist watching them. I clicked on the next one. The Haunted Elevator. It was another short clip, showing a man entering an elevator in an office building. He pressed the button for his floor, but the elevator didn't move. Instead, the lights flickered and the doors opened again. He saw a dark hallway with a sign that said, Welcome to Hell. He screamed and tried to get out, but the doors slammed shut. I gasped and closed the video. I felt my heart pounding in my chest. I wondered if these videos were real or not. They looked so realistic, but they could also be cleverly edited. I decided to watch one more, just to satisfy my curiosity. I clicked on the last one, The Faceless Man. It was a longer clip, about a minute long. It showed a woman walking home from work at night. She was talking on her phone with her boyfriend, telling him that she would be home soon. She seemed happy and relaxed, unaware of the danger lurking behind her. The camera zoomed in on a man following her from a distance. He was wearing a hooded jacket and a mask that covered his entire face. He looked like a serial killer or a rapist. He followed her for several blocks, getting closer and closer to her. She turned into an alleyway thinking it was a shortcut to her apartment. He followed her into the alleyway and quickened his pace. He reached into his pocket and pulled out a knife. She heard his footsteps behind her and turned around. She saw him running towards her with the knife raised. 
she screamed and dropped her phone. The video ended 